In this video, we'll show you how to improve your chipping so you can stop chunking and sculling those chip shots. So when it comes to shooting a score, especially breaking 90, here's really the key to breaking 90. You want to be good enough with your ball striking, with your full swing, to not lose a lot of golf balls and not hit a lot of balls in the woods. And then what you want is to have enough skill around the greens so you can get the ball on the green and one putt or two putt at the worst. You'll be making bogeys at worst oftentimes and you'll make a few pars. Next thing you know, you'll be shooting in the 80s, all right? Easiest way to chip, here it is, with a putter. This counts, you can do this, okay? Um, if you only have a little bit of fringe and a lot of green, boy, the putter is great. We're hitting the ball so hard that the fringe doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of difference. So it, it, as we do this, we are gonna get our alignment and you know make our practice stroke. Really, all you're gonna do is putt it from the fringe and it's about practice. Always try to make sure you play enough break. So I'm gonna play this up to the right quite a bit. And there it is, let's see what happens. Looks pretty good. Okay, that's pretty close, all right? So first option, if you can putt it, putt it. All right, if you can't putt it, then we're gonna chip it. Now, I'm gonna show you what I think is really the best way to chip. This is a fairway wood. Years ago, Greg Norman used to chip with a fairway wood around the fringe like this. And I was always a little bit curious as to why. Then one day I was out practicing my short game. I was putting from the fringe, the shot we just did, and I was having a hard time figuring out how much harder I should be hitting my shot to account for the, my putt to account for the fringe. And then I said to myself, boy, if I had just a little bit of loft just to kind of get that ball skimming up on the, on, the, on, the, on the fringe, boy, I'd be able to do this. And then it dawned on me, okay, that's what Greg Norman's doing with the three wood. And then Tiger Woods, when he uh, came on tour, he did it a lot too. So uh, this isn't the next best thing after putting is going to be the three wood. And this is when we want to feel like we're just gonna get that ball kind of skimming up on the top of the, the fringe here. Let's try this three wood now. This is another great way to do it. The only modification I'm making here is because it's so long, I'm gripping with my fingers down on the graphite a little bit, up to the right. Oh, I kind of like that one. It's gonna break, I kind of left it out there. But again, that's three, three and a half feet, okay? So if you can putt it, putt it. If you can do this practice, this, uh, this fairway wood, if you can practice with this, work on this. But I am gonna show you the more conventional chipping as well that may be something that you want to do, and, and that's fine, sometimes I feel that way. Uh, I'm going to grab, I've got a good amount of roll out here, so I'm gonna grab a seven iron, all right? And as I play this, I want to make sure that I hit the ball before the ground. So I'm going to play the ball a little teeny bit more back in my stance. And I'm going to put a little more weight on my front foot. Notice how when my weight moves forward, the shaft moves forward. I want to really encourage my low end of my swing to be ahead of that ball so I hit it solidly. The loft on the club will be what determines how high the ball goes, and thus that'll determine how far the ball rolls. The higher the loft, the less roll afterwards. So this is my seven iron, let's try this. That's pretty good. That's really good, oh, almost, all right. So that was my seven iron. Let's say I wanted to hit a ball a shorter distance. I won't use as much, as much, uh, or I'm sorry, I'll use more loft because I want the ball to go higher in the air and roll less. So I'm gonna put a little, a quick little target out here. We're gonna try that. So I've changed targets. I've, instead of that uh, flagstick back there, I now, I wanted a closer target and there was no hole there. So I put a soda bottle there. That's a great way to, to work on this. So I'm going to now be going for that soda bottle. So this ball is still gonna land about the same place. It's gonna land just a little bit on the green here, but I want it to roll less, so I'm gonna use more loft. So here's my pitching wedge. Let's see what we can do here. All right, and that would be 
my next type of chip, more loft, because the ball is not gonna roll as far. Please remember, the less loft you use, the less skill you need. Your order of trying this, number one, try to use a putter. Number two, go for a fairway wood. Number three, go with a more lofted club. Try those three different techniques. It's really simple, it's more about practice than anything and if you be, can become a good chipper you'll have more short putts next thing you know you'll be breaking 90.